Hey, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm here to talk to you about getting max leg germain as fast as possible. In this video, I'll be going over two separate methods. One method will focus on leveling it as fast as possible, while the second method will give you a chance at earning some gold while you do it. Before we go over the methods, I want to briefly talk about what leg germain is and the benefits of power leveling this skill line. The first benefit is that more goods can be sold and laundered, thus increasing your profit if thieving is something you enjoy doing. So Ledge Domain is unique in that every day you're capped at how many goods can be laundered or sold. Important to note that there's different caps and have different reset times than dailies. This limit is what prevents us from instantly maxing out, thus is time gated. Next, another perk for leveling Ledger Main is the ability to force open locks. This comes in really handy when doing those chess farms, whether for overland content, dungeons, or even trials. Not actually having to pick the lock and just forcing it open makes farming that much faster. Now that we've briefly went over the reasonings for why you would want to get Leisure Main up in the first place, here are the two methods that I've found were the best ways to instantly get your Leisure Main up. Granted, you're still going to be held by the cap of how many items you're allowed to launder and fence, but the easiest way to get an abundance of stolen goods is with these methods. So just to reiterate, this method is about farming stolen goods the fastest so that every day you can turn them in to level your leg domain. So for the first method, we're going to be going down to Canarthi's Roost. The reason we're coming here is because there's a huge abundance of sheep and each sheep drops multiple items that could be sold or laundered. Thus, you can get an abundance of items really quickly and efficiently. And this is the best way that I'd recommend if you're just straight leveling leg domain. If you look at the map on the left side of your screen, there's going to be the three locations. So the one on the very right, the one where I start this clip off, this is the main location. There's probably about 30, maybe even more sheep here. Uh, the only thing you have to be careful for is that there's two shepherds here that you have to kill with a blade of woe so that you do not get a bounty. If you don't have blade of woe unlocked, you can just kill them. You'll still have a bounty. So once you kill all the sheep and you loot them all, you're going to end up with maybe anywhere from 50 to 100 stolen items so from here you have two options first option is you can wait for them to respawn which is only a few minutes second option is you can go westward and there's two smaller spawns they should be marked with a circle on the map and when you go there there's going to be one shepherd and maybe anywhere from 20 per location so basically you just do this loop or should i say a straight westward line until you get as much stolen goods as you wanted and then you just turn them in into the fence either sell and launder every day within a few days you should have max light germane this method is fast but it does not net you anything other than a tiny bit of gold and maybe some rubido scraps that you could sell or refine yourself so for the next method, we're going to go to the Fargrave Town, which dropped with the Deadlands DLC. Now, if you have the Fargrave Waste Shrine, the location you want to go to is the same building as the Furnisher. So the cool thing about this area is once you go in, you go upstairs and you loot everything possible, which will net you stolen goods, furnishing plans, etc. And once you completely looted the upstairs area, you can just go out, walk through the door and it'll automatically reset itself. So this method has been out for a while i've seen many people cover this but no one has stated that this would be a good idea for leveling leg domain so not only do you have a chance at getting furniture plans you also get a lot of stolen items which then can be taken to a fence to launder or sell and thus you'll be able to hit your daily cap within a few runs here each run should only take maybe two minutes tops and i found out that three to five runs was good enough for me to max my leg domain for the day another cool thing about this area is it's really hard to get a bounty upstairs so you can loot to your heart's content and then just walk out the door to reset it one more tip i want to add on is if you're going to be doing this for any extended period of time don't forget to slot your cp that gives you a chance of getting double the furnishing plants because over the course of any farming session Having a chance to get two will definitely add up. That wraps up this guide for leveling Ledger Main Fast. Thanks for watching my video. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability in a timely fashion. As a reminder, if this video helped in any way, please help the channel grow by subscribing and liking the video. And that's it. Have a good one, guys. Thanks.